Okay, moving on. Negotiate the sale price. Okay. Every buyer is going to question your after repair value. Okay? So you're going to build a strong case for why you've got your price, and you're going to provide them with all the information that you have at your disposal. And hopefully you were smart enough to do the appraisal, and hopefully you were smart enough to do the home inspection, so you can provide them with all that stuff. Okay, put it in a PDF, have it on a website, however you want to handle it. There's lots of different ways to handle it. And I'm going to tell you, always leave room in your price for some kind of a discount. Every wholesaler, I don't care who he is, I don't care how many houses he sells a year, he will always give you some kind of a discount. Okay? It's just that psychological thing. I wrote an offer to buy one, a building. My, they were asking four million. I offered three point five, and they accepted it. And I'm going, fuck! I paid too much. Right? Doesn't matter that I got a five hundred thousand dollar discount. We didn't get to haggle. I should have offered three million. Right? And the guy would have said, no, 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 that's too much, 3.9. I would have said, oh, no, no, 3.1. And then we would have settled at 3.5 and I would have been tickle pink because I thought we negotiated. <laughs> <laughs> okay? But you also need to understand, it didn't really happen that way. I'm just giving you an example because I actually basically said, this is what I'm paying. Take or leave it. So I, I said, this is all I'm paying. I'm not paying a penny more, so if your seller doesn't accept it, don't call me back. I did the same thing today on another property. They were asking 3.8, and I said, look, I'm not paying a penny more than 3.2, so you can send that to the seller. If he accepts it, great. If he doesn't, don't call me back. So my negotiating style is a little different. Okay, I'm a big boy, and I can live with my consequences of my negotiating tactics. But the average person, needs to haggle. They need to haggle. They need to try to get some kind of discount. So always, if you want 5,000 profit, mark it up 7,000. And when he says, I need a discount, man, you're, you're killing me. I'm not making a lot of money. This is a wholesale deal. Tell you what I can do. I can give you $500 discount. You just got to get over here in an hour with your money. Ah, oh, 500 is not enough. Okay, well, what's it going to take? <coughs> 4,000. No, man, forget it. Out of here. I'm waiting for the next guy. Okay, okay, okay. 1,000. Okay, how fast can you be here? Right? And that's how the conversation goes. Any questions? Are you guys keeping up? Are you getting all this? You're not falling behind? 